Inside the library of the world's least likely elder statesman, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi was likened to a mad dog by Ronald Reagan. His Semtex was used by the IRA to kill scores of Britons, and his diplomats provoked the longest armed siege in British history. He's already said sorry to the Americans for Lockerbie. Now it's the UK's turn. There is one outstanding issue for many British people, which was the, the shooting outside the Lindian Embassy in 1984 of Yvonne Fletcher. And I wonder really whether, sir, you have a, a message for the family of Yvonne Fletcher, who are still seeking justice uh, for that police officer who was gunned down. You see, I know in fact that such a thing happened. I mean, I mean, I know that a policewoman was shot and was killed when she was doing her duty, and that she's not an enemy to us. And we're sorry all the time. We expressed our sympathy because she was on duty, and maybe she was there to protect the Libyan embassy. But this is a problem that, which should be solved. But who did it? That's the question. It's a question British investigators into the 25-year-old's murder believe they've answered. Enough evidence exists to charge two Libyans with conspiracy to cause death, according to reports earlier this month. But it's unthinkable the suspects will be handed over. Gaddafi is loyal to his henchmen. Witness the adulation when Lockerbie bomber Abdul Basit al Megrahi flew back from Scotland in August. President Obama told the British that he felt the release of Abdul Basit al Megrahi was a mistake. It's a matter of concern to the British, Scots, and Americans. I mean, we're not really concerned about it. A bigger question, arguably the biggest question in world politics right now, is whether Iran will do a Libya and give up nuclear ambitions without a fight. Gaddafi has no message for Tehran on this, but he has some extraordinary advice for the Palestinians. Even the state of Palestine, when it's established, should have nuclear capabilities because the counterparts, such as the Israeli state, have nuclear capabilities. And if we don't want this situation, so we have to disarm the Israelis from the nuclear weapons and nuclear capabilities. For all his idiosyncrasies and imperfect human rights record, Colonel Gaddafi's grip on power remains resolute and his list of friends is actually growing. Why? Because by many measures, oil has made Libya Africa's richest country. Colin Brazier, Sky News, Tripoli.